From VOA Learning English, this is the Technology Report. Researchers are using new methods to aid investigations into deadly strikes by pilotless planes called drones. The United Nations wants independent investigations into drone attacks. They estimate that there were three times as many civilian deaths from drones last year as the year before. But it is difficult to know the effect on civilians because the attacks are often in lightly populated areas. Scientists from Goldsmiths, University of London, and SITU Research in New York are trying to learn more. They have been gathering evidence to create 3D moving images of drone attacks. They call the process forensic architecture. The researchers use satellite images of places before and after an attack. They also examine reports from witnesses local maps, and other information. The goal is to help investigations into drone strikes that happened in Pakistan, Afghanistan, Yemen, Gaza, and Somalia. The research will be included in a United Nations report on the legality of drone operations. Kat Craig is the legal director for the charity organization Reprieve. She says the United States and other drone users have offered little information about such operations. She says there is no openness about the drone attack targets or results. Douglas Murray is the associate director of the Henry Jackson Society a policy research group based in London. He says drones are the best choice of bad choices to try to deal with radicals and terrorists. The United Nations says U.S. drone attacks on Pakistan appear to have decreased. But the U.N. says drone strikes have increased in Yemen. For VOA Learning English, I'm Carla Babb.